Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi everyone, this is Danny Lambert, President and Founder of Plush Republic Digital Marketing. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a fundamental concept in Facebook ads, which is the Facebook Pixel. Uh, what it is, uh, what it does, uh, what it allows you to do once it's installed, and then in another video, uh, just to keep this one short, I'm going to go over how you can install it, because there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. Um, so at the base level, what the Facebook Pixel does is it allows you to track all of the web traffic that comes to your website um, and then use that traffic in a variety of different ways. So if you've ever used Google AdWords or any other analytics tool, essentially how it'll work is it'll give you a little snippet of code, which shouldn't intimidate you. It's really, really easy to install either yourself or through Google Tag Manager, like a tag assistant, or through whoever your web dev or your webmaster is. But essentially you just take that piece of code and you put it in the head of your website. And now every single person that visits your website is now tracked so that you can use them in the future. And you may be asking yourself, why is this important? It's important for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first and most important in my book is the ability to retarget your audiences. So you can then set up um, different audiences, which I'll create in another video, that then will retarget or remarket, as some may say, those visitors to your website. So you can say every single person who has visited my Contact Us page but hasn't filled out a form, I want to set up an ad set for them or every single person who's added something to their cart but hasn't completed, I want to create an audience for them. You can then take those audiences and set up marketing specifically for those people with very, very hyper-targeted messaging. You can imagine if you know that someone was in your shopping cart and didn't check out, that they're a lot warmer of a prospect than someone just landed on your homepage and bounced. And unless you have this tracking code installed on your website, uh, you won't be able to track any of those people. You won't be able to uh, create those audiences. Another thing it allows you to do is effectively track conversions. Once you have that pixel installed, you can create custom conversions, which again, I'll put in a different video, which I'll link to in the comments and the description section. You can set up uh, custom conversions based on landing on a page, which it knows through the pixel, or, or accomplishing specific actions. Um, so all those are very important because if I'm putting my ad spend against uh, certain groups of people, I want to know if they convert on my website. I want to know how well my spend um, is being optimized. And then the third and final thing that it can do, which sometimes I recommend, sometimes I don't, because it's a little wonky when you let them optimize your spend, but when you have the tag installed, and or the pixel installed, and you're tracking conversions, you can then, in your ad sets, allow Facebook to optimize on your behalf. You can say, optimize for conversions based on what you've seen from previous conversion data, based on what that pixel picked up. Um, so given all that information, I'm just going to show you where within the Facebook Ads Manager you can find the pixel, and then I'll link out to my other videos which go down the steps of then taking this pixel, installing it on your website, then using that pixel to create remarketing audiences, and then using that pixel to create uh, custom conversions. So if you're within your Ads Manager, you would click here, go to All Tools, and then right under Events Manager, you'll find Pixels. Sorry, this might take a second to load, but then once this loads, you'll notice that I already have um, my pixel set up right here. Uh, and so if I go out a little bit farther, like the last seven days, see I've got like 14 page views, it's on like a subsection of my site. Now, uh, because I already have this set up, uh, you, I'm already seeing it here, but if you didn't have it set up, you would have um, something like this. And you would click Set Up Pixel, and it would give you three options. And I'll go more into this during the next section on how to install it, I just want to give you an idea uh, of where you'll find this information. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use a tag manager, which I highly suggest. I feel like you should push all of your tags or code snippets via one centralized tag manager, my favorite being Google Tag Manager. But you notice if I click into here, I can do, if I'm using like an e-commerce shop, I can uh, do uh, Magento or Shopify. If I'm using uh, like a segment uh, or Google Tag Manager even, you can implement it from here. Um, but in the video that I'm going to be doing, we'll be doing this option here where you manually install it yourself so I can show you individuals who have never installed the code before or are a little bit unsure how you can go about doing that. So this is the way that I'm going to show you in my next video. And the third and final option is if you have a webmaster or developer who does all this for you, easy enough, you'll just click this link and you'll forward along to them. 
the one thing that I really want to show you before I end this video and then we'll go on to the next one is when installing the code yourself, how exactly does it work? And this is very important to know. It's saying here, locate the head of your website, which I've already told you, and I'll show you how to do that, or your webmaster can. The next part is very important in that there's a base code, which is what this is, and then there's event-based codes, which I'll show you in the next slide. And what that means is this base code is just putting this on your site and then tracking page views. You can then also add additional event codes on specific things that you want to track. So uh, if you know that they only get to the thank you page if they fill out a form, you can add a special event code uh, that will then go onto, their, onto that page and will track those conversions specifically because you know that that traffic's going there. So let me show you. This would go on all pages of your site, the standard base code, every page. And then in the next section, you'll notice events that you want to track lead, registration completion, add to cart, view content, search, right? These are all things that happen in specific scenarios on our site. So in the next few videos, I'll explain to you, okay, now that we have the base code and we're tracking all of the traffic to our website, then how can I set this up to see if someone converted into a lead or made a purchase or you know searched our site? These are additional events that you can set up outside of what the base code is. And these are event codes or like non-standard codes. So given that, the most important things to take away from this tutorial are you should put the Facebook tracking code pixel in the head of your website. It'll track all of the traffic to your website and then allow you to use that for a variety of things, including uh, setting up remarketing or retargeting audiences, tracking conversions, and optimizing ads. And then in the next video, I'll show you the even next level of what the Facebook pixel allows you to do, which is to then track important events on your site, such as the ones listed here behind. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments section. Otherwise, definitely check out the next couple series of videos to help you move along the process of getting this set up. But thank you, as always, for your time, and I hope this helped. Have a great day.